Hi there. Well, um, I have another poem that melds mythology, um, Hindu mythology, and quantum physics. This is like one of my favorite things to think about. Um, I wrote it years ago. It's called Nataraja, a string theory perspective. Nataraja is an aspect of Shiva as um, the cosmic dancer. His dance is the universe. Um, so just a little, just a few words in here I should define before I read. Um, Raja, the word Raja means king, but it also means a term of endearment, you would say to a child. Um, Abhineya refers to expression in uh, Indian classical dance, and uh, Nitta refers to pure dance as opposed to Nitya, which is dance with um, emotion. And Raga means melody. So. Here we go. Oh, tabla is a kind of drum. I think that's it. Yes, a North Indian drum, which most people know of, yeah. Okay, here we go. Nataraja, a string theory perspective. Nataraja, my Raja, of dreams vividly real. I pray aware of night and its generous dark energy, dancing into my room upon small invisible strings. Sweetly, sweetly leaping into life in my respiring synergy with temples of melody vibrating in symphonic emptiness. Nataraja, my lord, why does the day steal flames of hope we stoke inside the hollow of our hands alone at night in the eleventh dimension of velvet silent devotion? Nataraja, my god, why are we so ardently alive a rhythmic schism between nothingness and single-celled creatures. You dance to the tabla and raga of a universal tabula rasa, your abhineya, a hymn to the humanity of being, your nritta, the syncopated verse of a wildly, devilishly alive universe. Nataraja, my raja, why are we not in awe at a world so enchantingly sentient. Why do we ache from prayers unsaid, tremble at the phenomenon of emotion? So many questions from single-souled beings. Your answer? Yes. I dance each phenomenal moment of my blazingly amazing life and will silently sing the final breath of my dying lyrical death. So that's about Nataraja. Um, I think it's one of the most phenomenal um, images um, found in, in ancient Indian art. Um, it's been found actually the magnificent bronzes of, of Nataraja um, are from the 12th century Chola Empire in India and um, but the images of Shiva date much much earlier to the Mohenjo-daro civilization which is in what is now Pakistan um, and this is from you know 2000 BC and um, it's a magnificent magnificent figure he holds the drum of creation in his right hand um, the fire of destruction in his left um, that's two hands then he has another two hands one hand is in blessing and the other hand um, actually this you know this gesture is very very popular in Hindu and Buddhist iconography it's um, Abhaya Hasta or the deity of do not fear which I love and his left hand points to his foot which um, is dancing atop a, well actually his right hand is standing on a demon of ignorance his left foot is pointing to it and this demon of ignorance um, you know, is basically your ego and you, know, you think you know everything, etc. But what's so lovely about this statue is Natrata doesn't kill it, he dances upon it. And that's just amazing. Uh, amazing idea in Indian iconography um, and art. And uh, this French sculptor um, Rodin said, um, I mean this is not a quote, it's a paraphrase, but he said the sculpture of Natraja is the perfect embodiment of uh, rhythmic still, of rhythm in a sculpture rhythmic stillness. So, thank you.